Hello there, welcome to this uh, Skull Bisalis. Oh my god. If you think um, Bisalis is easy, well, I'll try to make it easy. This is just a YY point of view because this is, as you can see, the skull is designed to ask questions for Bisalis. Bisalis, let's start. But before that, let me just go to the first part of the Bisalis region. This will be your alveolar arch. This is the alveolar arch for the lodgement of teeth. Then you have something called incisive. The foramens, I'll come back to it later on. Just tell you, I've got a separate skull for that. This is the alveolar arch. Then you have here something called as the palatine process of uh, uh, maxilla, the intermaxillary suture continues in the backwards here. And then we have here something called transverse palatine suture. We have got here the uh, posterior nasal spine. Then we have here the median palatine suture. This is the posterior nasal spine. We have got the palatine crest here. This uh, part here, the palatine crest is present in this region and uh, <clears throat> the foramens, I'll come to it later on. Then we have here the uh, most important part of it. This, uh, you can see certain uh, depressions here, okay? That's all just uh, depressions present for the glands there, which are the heart palate, which has certain glands. Which this, these are the, you know, the indentions what you come across. Posterior nasal spine is located here. Then if I go like this, then uh, uh, of course, I'll uh, finish off even that also. We have here, I can tell you, the incisive foramen, greater palatine foramen, lesser palatine foramen. Incisive, greater palatine, lesser palatine, palatine process of maxilla, the horizontal plate here, the transverse palatine suture, intermaxillary suture, then we have here the medial palatine suture, and then uh, alveolar, alveolar arch, and certain indentations for the uh, palatine uh, glands, and this will be the posterior nasal spine, what I am touching now, posterior nasal spine, palatine crest. Let's go now to this region. Here we have very easy, this is the lateral pterygoid plate, the ones which I'm touching now, that this one will be the inside one, this one will be the medial pterygoid plate, lateral pterygoid plate as well as a medial pterygoid plate. So this is just remember. Now we have here in the medial pterygoid plate, something in this, in the middle part, you can observe some of this what I'm touching right now, pterygoid hamulus, pterygoid hamulus for the middle pterygoid plate. And this is the vomer here, and then this will be the coana. This is the, this part, this part is a coana. The ala is located in this region. Obviously, this is spinoid bone. We have here the mandibular fossa. Remember, in the lateral, as I had told you about this mandibular fossa. Two processes, styloid process. Our, uh, sorry, styloid process. The word stylos means pen. Okay, this one, the stylos in French. Styloid process, mastoid process. And then we have occipital condyles here. We have here the base of the occipital bone, pharyngeal tubercle, these occipital condyles, the posterior condyle fossas in this region, this one, posterior condyle fossas, and uh, of course the uh, next part of it will be the most important part, it will be the foramens now. For foramens, I have just uh, gone into explain you in an easy way, that is the, let me just see, this, this will work out or not for you. This is what we get from the foramens, this part, so this one. I've just tried, this is the first one I'm removing now, incisive foramen, greater palatine foramen. Next to that, please observe lesser palatine foramen. Then, can you observe these two holes there? Yeah, this is the spine of the spinoid, very sharp thing. Observe for the spine of the spinoid here in this region. And here, there's a round, complete oval shape. The red one which I'm removing now is the foramen OV. The foramen OV is the first one which I'm removing now. That one. And next to that, obviously, I cannot remove. I need to remove together to them. can be very close to each other. Uh, foramen. Ove foramen spinosum. And one thing for this, I have used this flag thought of it. It doesn't look like a foramen at all. This is a particular structure, a very big structure where the, everything it passes out. It's fill up cartilage in a person. This is the foramen lacerum. Very close to that, foramen lacerum and other structures is also present there. I would not, not like to uh, go in for that. And uh, in the same thing, this in this this plate. Before I forget, this spot, the top, the top one. Please remember, the top one will be called as the pterygoid fossa. This one, pterygoid fossa, and the down parts, and it's called as the scaphoid fossa. Pterygoid fossa, scaphoid fossa, spine of the spinoid, foramen ova, foramen spinosum, foramen lacerum, the base of the occipital bone, pharyngeal tubercle. Obviously, the magnum opaque. This is the foramen magnum. And we have here the in front of it, this part, what I'm removing. Just observe for that. I think this will just fall down. I'll just try to show you this one. 
okay this part will be the hypoglossal canal or the anterior condyle canal if this is anterior condyle of course this is a posterior condyle canal then we have the other foramens which I'll just try to show you off this one will be the this is the mastoid process styloid process in between them stylomastoid foramen from the way the facial now emerges out just go back in the mastoid process you can see the mastoid foramen this part just observe keep the skull keep the skull with you and pause my video reverse it and just have a look about us okay now we come to certain abnormal things which is just like a little bit uh, difficult for you to understand and uh, in this skull it's more better yeah this part here you can observe something called as the carotid canal this particular part is the carotid canal i hope you can see it very close to that will be the jugular foramen with the jugular process or the uh, very close to the jugular process this is the jugular process and that next to that will be jugular foramen there and uh, carotid canal is present here the uh, mandibular fossa I just have repeated this to you and here we have something called posterior superior alveolar foramen very important for dental students in this region uh, yeah it's present here posterior superior alveolar foramen and uh, much of uh, 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 I have completely covered everything for you I think so I just yeah I've just uh, last serum again I'll just uh, try to repeat only the foramens which are difficult parts for you incisive foramen greater palatine lesser palatine OA spinosum next to the spine of the spinoid lacerum then we have here the magnum hypoglossal anterior condyle canal posterior condyle canal carotid canal jugular foramen stylomastoid foramen you have your mastoid foramen um, that's the foramen of anything I'm not left if anything I've just not left it there's a parts of it I hope you have understood Besar. This is a fast method. I have not excluded anything. Maybe I am teaching more in the class, but this is uh, this will enough. This will do it often. Of course, before I forget, occipital condyles. I hope you know the occipital condyles. And in the mastoid process, we have something here. Can I please observe? This is the mastoid notch for the posterior belly of digastic, and next to that, the groove for occipital artery. This one, this particular thing. It's you know, it's different. If this more clever and more neat and given in this, you can observe this thing. Very sharp in here. This is the mastoid notch and this is the occipital before the occipital artery. This is the basalis. Just you need to concentrate how you study basalis. I know skull is very difficult to study, especially the basalis. Nothing. Just take this. First finish off this part, then the front part, the alveolar arch part. Second part, finish the pterygoid plates. Now that's pterygoid plates, the lateral is outside, medial is middle. And then you have the posterior nasal spine, obviously. And here the uh, omer which extends up till here the ala of it which is close to it and then finish the base of the occipital and the pharyngeal tubercle then go for the processes mastoid process styloid process the occipital condyles and the posterior condyle fossa mandibular fossa okay two fossas in this region and the jugular okay jugular process there is jugular process in this region where i'm touching right now jugular process very close to that jugular foramen and the gist of a condyle in front anterior condyle there is a hypoglossal canal posterior here posterior condyle canal lateral medial pterygoid plate you've got your pterygoid and scaphoid fossas respectively in that region and pterygoid hamulus this is a part uh, very simple the examiner will try to ask you questions if you answer positively start off very well in this he may not ask you the other things starting of the viva how it matters you just start off very well i'm sure you're going to do very well Try to explain um, many things for you. I hope you have enjoyed my videos and um, lots of hard work goes for these videos. Do subscribe and share my channel. Um, thank you.